Top of the morning to you ladies. My name is Jess That's the guy. Welcome back to the man from Medan. What the fuck is going on with this ship? I don't because know, Floss. To be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? <laughs> relatively sane. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and that. Doesn't sound that crazy right about now. <laughs> the Fonk's soul brother. Only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. <laughs> his face is terrible. <laughs> I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? That's why he's insecure, no, Alex. No, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. I There's think be not. going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Uh, PlayStation. Uh, where's the gold? <laughs> uh, is this a ghost ship? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. Hmm, probably each other's dicks. What happened on the ship? Where are the crew? Uh, let's ask what happened. We know where the crew are. They're dead. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beat me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. The ship got caught up in some kind of bad storm. There was a whole note about it in the engineer's logbook. Hmm. See, I found those with my gamer brain. This place is weird. <laughs> Where's the gold? She really wants the gold, okay? Let's just ask where the gold is. Did you see the gold? Anything? If there was gold here, we would have seen it by now. Okay. That still doesn't explain anything. He's right, Ted. Uh, this place is super weird. Where are the crew? I can ask all of the questions. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Good input, Brad. Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. Boats don't this run! She's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... There's a that's giant great, gun on it. Do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. I got the big giant gun on the left. I don't want on the right. Let's go snipe some fools. Okay, we're back as my main man, Alex. How's he feeling right now? Relaxed, excited. Still gonna go with cunning Alex. Cause that, that's cool. We gotta get off this damn ship. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Well, speaking clinically, as long as we're speaking clinically, Brad. Be the Brad. Ah, oh, sweet. Churros. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. He's beginning to believe. You know what? Shell casings like that are good for uh, putting pencils in for your kids for school. Life hack. I'm gonna make a YouTube video about that. This is a long, spooky walk, and I don't like it. My shiny senses are tingling. My cunning Alex senses. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Cool. I thought he was just gonna go. Great. Moving on. <laughs> Guys, I'm still the only one with shoes. The rest of you are going around in your bare feet. You're gonna catch your death. Maybe even literally. You who secrets are you over here? <laughs> I'm sniffing out clues. I've got a raging clue. I'll find out what happened here if it's the last thing I do. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Good. Your eyes closed are no use to us. 
Oh my god. Oh, I thought I could walk the whole way down that side. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I got a firm grip. Hey. Oh, Johnny Walker. <laughs> oh damn! Look a note. What does this one say? Gas masks. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone with theirs. Do not panic. Attach the gas mask. I don't care about the instructions. Check for leaks. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. Okay. Huh. Oh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Let go of the hose. That's what my parents used to say to me when I was a teenager. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask in flexible, corrugated hose. Whatever. Gas masks will not only- will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. So is this the dude we saw earlier What was like, he already has his mask. Was his name Miller or something? I don't know. That's a terrible place to hide though, I found you. Here we go. Do you wanna be the Brad? Do you wanna buck up? Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Hmm. Give me a lift. Give me a booch. I had a friend in school who used to always call a boost a booch. So anytime I hear someone say, give me a boost or something, I always think of, give me a booch. I don't know why. I think he was dumb. <laughs> I think he just didn't know what the word was. Julia, get back! You're gonna get lost and scared. Alright. Here we go. My cunning Alex senses away. Don't look at my knees! I'm gonna turn into insecure Alex again. Do 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 do. Textures on the boat are cool. All the rust. You know, if this wasn't so spooky, this would actually be pretty dope. We could like go here and go on a cruise. Oh, that's a that's a good chance to have something in the room. One of my favorite things is like walking by a room like that, and it kind of has silhouettes of like chairs and shit in the background and as you move and then suddenly one of them moves and then you raise wait that wasn't what I thought it was or you weren't aware that it was something because your eyes just aren't focused on it and then it moves and you're like shit that was there the whole time I love that but I didn't do that so boo <laughs> over here got a way through here popping pills ah There we go. Squeezy, squeezy. Nice and cheesy. Whoa. Oh my god. Are you- okay. This is a massive frame drop. Anybody in here? Look at this dude all curled up. You look cozy. Look at him, Alex! Look at him with your weak knees! Hello, Bradbury. Yes, another picture! Let me see how my friends die! He killed himself! I'm not too upset about that one. He's not one of our mains. Find the radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, <coughs> there has to be. This ship is from like a millennium ago. I'm not confident about our chances of survival at this point. Bread? Do you want to shut up? Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek. Out in the ocean? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. But what's the red and what's the blue? And why is like one of them is a straight line, but the other one is just like, whoa! Okay. 
Secret found. Wow. A map showing the origin and destination of the ship. Ah, okay, so it's the route forward and back. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Whoa, I found a lot of secrets. I also missed even more. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, and I thought I've been diligent. Or maybe some scenarios play out differently depending on who's alive or not. God, can you... It's blank. Uh, Never mind. Ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. Someone fell overboard. And they went looking for them, but then they didn't. That's a great story. I hear the radio. Oh, this dude! This is where the forearmed thing came in. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. Yeah, idiot scientists. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's working! <laughs> okay, that's just weather. It's a number station. What? These are all numbers. Okay. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Mayday! Mayday! Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Uh... Yes, instructive. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge, and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! You know someone's out there. They answered. Uh-oh. Hey! Come here, look! The death hole! Dare you to jump. I'll give you a Twizzler. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Oh, hell so yeah. So what do you think? Uh, sure. Just don't get stabbed. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. <laughs> whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. You only said hey, one Julia. person needed to stay she back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, off to a great start. We got this. Ah! Ah! I hope this isn't the path where Brad can die. 
But Alex was also getting attacked, so I think either of them can have a potential to die here. I just need to be good about this. Any broken bones? Everything still work? My dick fell off. Okay? We're good! We're okay. <coughs> what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. <laughs> Dude! He didn't even like look down to see where they were. He was just like, here! <laughs> Love this game. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is there still oil in that thing? After you. Mm -hmm. All right, Brad. It's time to be the Brad. It's time to buck up. Okay, nothing that way. Got sorry, sorry, Julia. I'm just looking for secrets because I'm Brad, and I'm radical. Hello? Secrets? It's me. The gamer. Some sort of altercation. In that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the US Army, Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Okay, so this is on shore then. Hmm. Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between scientist X. Ooh! Scientist X. CWO uh, Walter Bishop and CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and mm, X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act limited by the Geneva Protocol have experiments we are unable to. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Look at those fingernails. This It's like reading, or it's like hitting X or hitting skip on dialogue in a MMO describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian gold I told you it wasn't real gold chemical munitions battle it was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that really were not there even the danger was manifold and in its intensity, okay. <clears throat> so Manchurian gold is codenamed for drugs. You have drugs? Hi, Julia. I love that hesitation right before picking it up, like... Will I? Mm. <coughs> Monday, Arthur Miller, pretty th petty theft. Pretty theft. One day, Brig, small items belonging to senior officer, found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, trespassed two days, Brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A. It was 3C that I'm not supposed to go in, right? With no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, poof, Lewis. Brand, public intoxication one day, break, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait. There might be something on the back of it. Yeah. Charles Anderson. Hey, that's our dude. Uh, public intoxication, brawling, 10 days, break, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel. Josh, Joseph Roberts. Public intoxication, brawling, 10 days break. Okay. Are those our two boys from the start? Well, anytime I see a Charles, I'm like, hey, that's our that's our dude. Which one was biceps though? I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Not at all. 
Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. <laughs> Damn, Brad. Fucking gloves are off. Hey, it's our son! Oh, we're here now. We're in this room. <coughs> hmm. Might have been the son of somebody on board. Yup. That's biceps. Biceps turned into diceps. Oh, Jesus. He's all skin and bones. Brad, I don't want to see your feet. Patient name, John pa Patterson. Uh, okay. Total service in the army is three years and five months. History of case, mild neurosis, is not the result of his own misconduct and was in incurred in the line of dude. Yay, incurred in the line of dude, dude. Existed prior to enlistment, no present condition. Aren't you not fit for service? Well, I guess neurosis is not, like, crazy. Temporary recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back to the medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Andrew Patterson uh, today who attacked- attended sickbay. I can't read! During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. Hmm. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Clear case of Coser. What's Coser? Patterson is a fit and healthy young man, 25 years, no medical conditions. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and tests for speech, reactions, memory, and decisions, making all appear normal. Okay. Uh, which way was it going? This way? Yes. Come along, Yulia! We have dropping down to do! Here, come check this out. Look! Down there! Looks like the engine room. Good no. place to find a generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. Yump! I think I can just... Wait! <coughs> uh. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> All good. Just come down. Okay. She has shoes on! She's not in her bare feeties. Oh God! What's okay. that? It, 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 it was. It was. Did you see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II, and we know that it was super unstable. And leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. Check out that big brain on Brad! The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. Mm. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they make contact. It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. <coughs> Brad's got it all figured out. That's why the curator guy was like, it's not really supernatural, it's more scientific. Rotterdam. Die Nederlands! God verdomme! Thank you, Val. Alsjeblieft. You know what I miss right now? Twinkies. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Twinkies. Even though Twinkies are not that great. Okay, is anything over here worth pursuing? Am I just walking around like a chicken?
Also, you can get rid of the Brad counter in the corner, I know. Whoa. Look at this. The rebreather. Oh, something's freaking out. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Uh... Fuck. We did see Brad almost drowning. Let's take it. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. Could be a life -saving. Yeah. I mean, all of these decisions are like, uh, something's gonna come up one way or another, so... It's kind of, which one do you want to deal with? Oh, he's gone crazy now. Shut your shitty mouth. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Aha! The top of my hair dryer. You stabbed them in the stomach though, that wouldn't kill you that quick. Silly video game not being realistic. <laughs> Heard you talking shit. Fuck. 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 Oh, 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 that actually made my my actual heart beat. Fuck. Because having to record this through like capture cards and everything, there's a little bit of lag, and I'm always worried that it's going to be the thing that gets me killed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Danny boy. We have to be very careful. It's crazy as a shit house, Brad. Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, inspect, just do it. He has a thing. It's only a ring! <laughs> oh, thank God. Go, 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 go! Holy shit. I'm very nervous for Brad, having seen that premonition. Oh, you're gonna make me do the heartbeat thing again, aren't you? There's no use hiding, you little fucks. You little fucks. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Dude, I had a beard hair in my mouth, I'm sorry. Cut me out of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. I have all the gold. And I'm to be left here. Nah. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I Fuck! <laughs> I missed one of them. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, yeah, you know that. You saw it. Shit, 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 shit. I lost my. Oh fuck. I lost my rebreather. Please tell me we're safe. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. He's been seeing shit. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Yeah. Ah, not again. It's all gone changing on me. I heard a Howie scream in there. What's, what's changing? Stay away. <clears throat> Stay back from the mist. What? There's no mist, man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist. Dude's fucking tweaked. Uh. Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. 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 It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Is he gonna shoot himself? Why, you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh. Okay, I'll, try to talk right, him down. Look, I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No, look! We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? Yes. <laughs> We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now! Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Oh, fuck. It's in me, isn't it? Well, if you shoot yourself, then we don't have to worry about getting shot. It's changing me! On the inside. Ah, fuck! No, no, I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop! Stop lying! Fuck! <laughs> now the gun's back on me. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. It's alive! Yeah, keep wasting the bullets. <laughs> oh, that light was floating. Hey, man, come on. Just put the... Well, it happened oh, anyway. Fucking shit. Well, at least Brad and Julia are okay for now. Shit. Just shoot the other dude and go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, in any other circumstances, no. But in this one, I think. I think. Whew. Shit's escalating, man. Well, two of them are dead now, so I only have to worry about sledgehammer. Radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Mm, don't get cut. <laughs> ah! My ankles. 
Uh oh. So I think I passed the section where Brad. Oh fuck. See who it was for half of that because I was so focused. Oh shit! I saw the the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. I gotta go after him. The guys in the back. Do you see that? The man of Medan dude is back there. Hooded dude. Oh man, those heartbeat ones really make you nervous. Fuck. This feels bad. This feels brad. This must have been what we just heard. <coughs> Damn. Oh no, what's that? Oh. Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Are those the gunshots Here. from the other time? He had to have come this way. Dude, nice drop. You still have no shoes. Holy crap. Look at that shit. What shit? Oh, the gas? Uh oh. Oh god, you first! You have no shoes! I'm very concerned about the fact that people don't have shoes. Oh I pressed it! Literally pressed it! But it showed up red! That was bullshit. I pressed that fucking button. Okay, good. He doesn't have the sledgehammer anymore. That's better. Now you can just overpower him with your big sexy man arms. Just like that, he's dead. I'm not gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Well, at least you're smart about it. So now I don't have to worry about anything except fake people. <coughs> okay, where did he go? Naked flames. <gasps> That was cool! I was being followed by a Brad ghost! That was awesome. The rats eating him? Ew! Y'all nasty! Fuck! That didn't take long. Oh, distributor cap. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. Excuse me! Oh! <laughs> Aww, don't do that! Just put him down! Oh! Jesus! Ah! Little ratties! They're all dead. <laughs> no, they're not! No, they're not! Run! Run! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, it's so creepy! 
Don't stab them. Just take the fucking thing and go. Ah! Jesus. Oh, that was the forearm thing. What the fuck is happening? What? Hallucination! Hallucination! It's just hallucination! Ah, fuck! Oh, I missed! I didn't do either! Fuck! Oh, that thing's so creepy! Hey, it's okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done either! Did I just get really lucky? It was her, not a thing, and I would have stabbed myself or her. Oh, epic gamer moment! I live because I suck! That's amazing! Oh my god! Jesus, I could have got so many people killed. It's daytime, that's better. Is it over? I still don't know who Madan Man is. Madan Dan. Man, if this happened to me in real life, I would be getting right. very drunk afterwards. Let's try it. Nice. Right. Sweet. Wait. The chopper never showed up. Hmm. Methinks there's still a little more afoot. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. Pretty sure he's dead. should have never split up. Wait, you were so just sitting right next to him. Found this. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to marry you anymore. I had a near death experience. I changed my life decisions and priorities. I'm gonna go backpacking across the Alps. <laughs> This is sweet, though. That's nice. I'm glad they're- they're still together, and I'm glad both are still alive. <coughs> oh, Conrad. Is that Conrad? No! Oh, no! I'm so sorry! The game fucked me over, man! It was the same with the other QTE. When I was jumping across just now. Okay, get it off the screen. Gross. <laughs> what? Please tell me you're gonna explain something. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. 
Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Not really. <laughs> I was pretty fine for most of it. Didn't feel that hard to keep them alive. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, <clears throat> we will meet again. It's inevitable. He's Thanos. Wait, really? Okay, no, uh, copyright. La 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 Hard life being a YouTuber, guys. At any moment, a song can come out of nowhere and ruin the whole thing. <coughs> Do I get to see... <gasps> He's alive! I knew a stab in the stomach wouldn't kill you. Oh, okay. There we go. You don't have gas masks on. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here, huh? Wait, yeah, what the fuck were these things then? Whoa. What the hell is this? So you're just not going to check them? What the fuck? <laughs> Danny, no! <laughs> oh, Danny boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling, man. Man, Jesus. That was only like three and a half hours. That's... Way shorter than I thought it was. People had been speculating that it was going to be like five. I think Until Dawn is like five to six hours long. Depending on like who's dying and which sequences play out. Um, are we just going straight back to main menu? Yeah. Huh. That was really disappointing. Um... The ending just kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, not really, but it, it was very abrupt. Damn. It- a lot of it just felt pointless. Cuz- Okay, let's- let's break it down. Let's talk about the game as we do at the end of every series. So, first of all, acting, fantastic. Visuals, fucking phenomenal. Sound design, really damn good. All of that stuff, the presentation of all of this was really good. Some of the dialogue was a little hokey here and there, but you know what? Like, so, when she was like, yeah, you, you rascals, you lelly livered yellow bellies, or something. She was like yelling insults at them in a game that had a lot of fucks and what the fucks and everything. I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. But again, it's all, it's all whatever. It's, it doesn't actually impact anything and it doesn't detract from it really either. Um, the characters were fun, the characters were interesting, some of them kind of just, like, Brad was gone for ages and then he was like, Oh shit, okay, be the Brad. Like, wait, where were you? 
What were you doing? Um, I feel bad that I got Conrad killed, but I like that everybody else survived. I've talked to some other people who had finished the game before me. They didn't spoil it, but they had said how many of their characters had died, and so far from the people I've talked to, I'm doing really well. I, I did really well. I only got one kill. Some people got like three out of the five killed. So I'm really happy about that. But, like, I, I, we didn't learn really anything. I mean, you can kind of piece stuff together that, yeah, it was a, a bioweapon made by the Chinese, and they were bringing some of it back, and then it got loose, and then it just made them hallucinate and see shit. I'm like, yeah, okay, but I guess that from, like, the very beginning, not that it was, like, that was Manchurian gold and it was made by the Chinese or whatever, but that it was the fog making people hallucinate and kill each other. So there was no real twist to anything. There was no real, like... Noth nothing was revealed. And then it was like, oh, that forearm thing and the two-headed thing. I was like, oh, that'll be cool. And I was like, oh, no, it was just a vision of the hallucination. Maybe there was somebody with two heads in there, in the coffins, but then we don't really know who was in the other coffins. Maybe some more, maybe if I go back and play it again, some more of the paper would have said it. But again, I shouldn't have to read secret documents laid around to get more of the story. I'm all for ambiguity and vagueness, um, and leaving some stuff open to interpretation to the player. This felt like it just didn't give me enough information. And... Some- I'm curious how the multiplayer plays into this, because it felt like they've been billing this as a multiplayer game first. Until Dawn was single player only, other than like, oh, you wanna like, after this scene, you take the controller and play. And I think they realized that gamers and people, like casual people who play games, kind of just played Until Dawn on like a Friday night. Like, let's get people together, we'll get a few beers. Instead of watching a movie, we'll play Until Dawn and we'll all make the decisions together. Super fun. I love that. And I like all the reactions and everything that came out of Until Dawn because of that. But it feels like they kind of pushed this game a little bit too much for that crowd. So that the story kind of suffered because it didn't really matter. Because as long as people got their spooks and their scares and their moments of getting characters killed and like, Oh man! Jeff, you fucked it up! You got them killed! Oh, sweet my beer! Oh, my turn, okay! And I was like, oh, you kept them alive! Oh, I fucked up! Like, that shit is fun! But it felt like that that's kind of all the game was really about. I have no idea who the curator was. I have no idea why he was in the background all the time. I don't know who the hooded figure was, if it was a hallucination or a real person or if it was him. Um, it is an anthology, so it's the, the dark chronicles or the dark stories, Man of Medan uh, anthology. So there's going to be more. These are just like little snippets. But what I figured is that it's going to be, like, the next one's going to be different characters, different story, different mythology. Um, which I like, but I thought that this one would kind of get wrapped up. If there is more, like, the next one is going to follow on this story, then fair enough, we'll learn more about it now. But as of right now, we don't know, and I don't know what the heck was going on in this. So, I like everything around it except the ending. Because I thought, I thought there was just going to be way more. I had no idea we were so close to the ending in this. Um, <coughs> I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Because I, 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 I don't know, I feel like a lot of you will probably agree with me that this has a lot of potential, but just didn't live up to it. I'm, I'm very curious to see... I've, I've played this all before the game has actually come out, so... People's reactions to, like, any of the episodes haven't happened yet. I, there's no reviews out for the game yet. Uh, again, thank you to the uh, Bandai Namco for giving me a code to be able to play it early. And it's it's good because I don't get spoiled on anything, but at the same time, I don't know what people's thoughts are on it yet. So I'm very curious to see when this series starts coming out, how people react to it. Because I feel like a lot of you know my thinking on things by now. So I'm curious to see if a lot of you agree with it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you are one, if you are that group of people who want to just sit around and hang out and play the game together and just dick around and have a few drinks or just have fun, then yeah, this is great. But as someone who likes the story of it and wanted to play it alone first, just to see, I wanted to see the intricacies of it. Because again, I absolutely love Until Dawn. It was super fun to do, really fun series. I loved the characters and just how everything unfolded and playing it on my own and then seeing your reaction afterwards to the Let's Play. So then doing this one is kind of like, man, now I feel, I feel kind of blue-balled. Um, so I am curious if there is more to it if you play it multiplayer, because I think 
I don't know how the multiplayer works. I think some characters actually go off on their own and then you play whole sections that weren't in the single player one. I have no idea. Did we get the full story? I don't know. And I think I did pretty well. If I kept most people alive, I'm pretty sure I got the m a good chunk of the story. But we'll have to see about that. Um, so, super fun, great two and a half hours. The first hour of it, I loved. I loved the setup to it. I felt like I was in for a real ride. I felt like I was in for a roller coaster. And then it feels like they just pulled the carpet out from under me and everything just kind of like fell. All the house of cards just kind of fell apart. Characters just kind of started dying and none of them was ever really revealed. We didn't really know what was going on. I don't know. I, I was expecting like a twist and a turn to be like, no, this person is this. Like, like Brad was missing for all this time because he was the man of Madan. But not none of that kind of happened. And I like that. I like twists. I like turns. I like plot. Um, but that's going to do it for now. We'll see what else they have up their sleeve. They have not talked about... Uh, I mean, they uh, like I said, they said that this was an anthology and I haven't been following this super closely. But I don't think they've talked about another game yet. I think all they're doing is talking about this one so far. They haven't talked about what's next in the anthology. It kind of feels like they were going to make it episodic, but it feels like they're trying to see how this one will do and then move on to something else, but I have no idea. But that's going to do it for Man of Medan. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see people's reactions to this game. And if you like the series anyway, drop a like. It really helps out the channel and I, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye <laughs>